Alright, what's up guys? Ninja Death Strike here, bringing you a triple header. You heard that right. Three games in one video, but uh, don't get too excited. Um, the reason I'm bringing you three games is because I'm playing the Mono Rayquaza deck, and these games don't really last more than three or four minutes, um, ever. So that's the reason I haven't featured the deck before, but I finally figured it's a really fun deck to play. I figured I'd just record some games and throw them all together. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what this deck is, it's just four Rayquaza EX and a ton of energy and a couple other cards, uh, and you hope that you go first, you, um, Celestial Roar on turn one, get a bunch of energy, and then you just Dragon Blast, uh, Dragon Burst until the game's over, hopefully by turn two, um. The main problem with the deck, we'll see in a bit, is that it tends to mulligan, which means your opponent gets to bench many things, which means you can't knock them all out before they set up and kill your guys. Uh, you also get benched yourself quite a bit, because you only have four Pokemon. But uh, in this opening match, my opponent starts Lone Panpour, and he is just going to get blasted into the next, uh, into the last century, back to the Stone Age which would be a lot longer than the last century. But anyhow, uh, that's the end of that. So <laughs> Rayquaza, 1-0. Next match, I am going to mulligan some, because that happens a lot. I think the record for this deck is 14 mulligans in a row. That was good times. Uh, that was uh, the same game. I ended up prizing two Rayquazas. I wasn't recording that match, but needless to say, it did not go well. Um, any match where you go second with this deck, you are in really bad shape. If you don't go first, you don't really win. So once, uh, I should have put first ticket in here. Man, I was going to say once first ticket is out, but it is now. Uh, regionals are over, it's legal. So I definitely should have put that in there, I think. Um, anyhow, it's not in here at the time. So, not a whole lot I can do about it now, since I probably won't put any more videos of this deck up, but if I decide to play it again for funsies, I'll be sure to add first ticket in, because going first makes the deck so much scarier. You can see right here, I go first, get a Celestial Roar, and I'm going to threaten to KO this Mew on turn two before it gets to do anything and take two prizes. Uh... So my opponent has some kind of Excel Gore deck. It's it's a status locking deck with Mewiax, and he plays a, a Moongus too. Though he has the bad fungus, uh, I'm not sure why he's using that one instead of the good one that has Find a Friend. But anyhow, he's gonna bench some stuff and then pass, which makes me happy. Uh, I make a mistake of discarding my fire energies here. I should have discarded the lightning. I forgot that Mew only has 120 hit points. So I could have actually uh, had a Dragon Burst for 180 ready next turn, but it's not going to be too big of a deal because the other stuff he has doesn't have more than 120 hit points anyhow. So I get two really good prizes here, another Rayquaza, which can be a little hard to come by, and a Ultra Ball, which will let me grab another one and thin out my deck so I don't accidentally discard it with Celestial Roar. But I'm going to get that hand end away and draw into half of my supporters. Uh, I'm pretty sure I only have six in the deck, and I get three of them in the same hand. So that's cool. And I don't get a fire energy, but the Juniper should take care of that. I play like 41 energy in this deck, so chances are I'm going to hit a fire energy uh, once I play this Juniper. It's not going to matter a whole lot here because he actually has to go for deck and cover, which will buy him a turn. I don't run any switch. Uh, it would be nice sometimes, but it's really just an extren extraneous card that is not an energy to get attached by Celestial Roar, so try and limit those. But can't do anything but pass here. If he actually manages to Spore Prize me, I could be in some trouble because I'm going to have to pass a Confusion check, and I don't have my other Rayquaza. It went goodbye after the end. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have a Moongus or any way to get it, surprisingly, so I can just attach. And Dragon Burst for the win. 180 to Fungus. 140 extra damage. So that's how Rayquaza rolls. It's final match here. This is actually like the most matchy match of the three. Um, 
again. I'm going to mulligan once, only once, which is surprising. Seems like on uh, PTCGO, if you mulligan once, you almost always mulligan a second time, but not this time. So uh, he stars Dark Eye X, which is a little scary, but I win the coin toss. I get to go first. I get two energy, which means uh, all I have to do is attach next turn and Dragon Burst for a KO on Dark Eye on turn two which is crazy. Uh, he's going to put Sableye down. He realizes what's about to happen to him and retreats to the bench. Um, just sends Sableye up as fodder, which is a really good plan. It's going to make me waste energy. Uh, burn two energy to take out a Sableye that he doesn't care about. But unfortunately for him, uh, I still get my catcher, a catcher after the end. So going to drag up this dark Rye. dragon burst for 180 on turn two, kill this dark Rye. He had, he didn't even know what hit him. So he's going to go down. I'm going to draw two prizes and, uh, be in pretty good shape. But now he starts benching all kinds of basics. Uh, that doesn't make me happy. Rayquaza likes to not have a full bench so that he can just Dragon Burst a few times and end the game before anything really happens. But at this point, my opponent is going to start to just get ridiculous hands. Uh, some of the stuff he pulls off in these next couple turns is absurd. So he gets double Dark Patch here, um, which obviously tells me he's probably got a Dark Rite in hand that he didn't want to bench because I would just catch it and do a ton of damage. But I'm pretty sure it's going to come down this turn. Fortunately for me, uh, Night Spear is not too, too likely here. Because he needs to attach to the Litwick in order to um, retreat it. And then still have an attachment to Dark Rise. So probably not going to happen. And I'm not too worried about it. But... He just happens to have exactly the perfect hand to do that. Um, gets Rare Candy, gets Chandelure, then switches, then plays Bianca for six after playing out his entire hand. Obviously hits an energy off of that, and I'm going to get Night Speared uh, on turn two. So, craziness. Um, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm going to go ahead and attach here. Maybe I can hit a catcher and just take one more prize with this Rayquaza. Uh, I could have saved my attachment and hoped to hit a Rayquaza here and then attach to it and Celestial Roared, which probably would have been the better choice. Um, however, I was thinking if I can take a prize here, all I need to do is Dragon Burst that Darkrai to win. So I do get the cheap prize here, and that means um, the only thing I need to do is survive one turn so that I can... Uh, Celestial Roar, get some energies, and then just Dragon Burst for the game. So I'm in a pretty good spot. He's going to go for Curse Shadow here, and he once again gets a ridiculous turn. Uh, he takes a pretty big risk here. You notice he Curse Dropped onto the Rayquaza. He puts me at 140, and then he plays the N, uh, banking on hitting the Catcher. If he hadn't hit the Catcher here he probably would have been in some trouble. Um, I think I would have won the game the next turn. But since he hits the catcher, he's able to catch out my uh, bench Rayquaza, get the Night Spear off before I have a chance to Celestial Roar. And at this point, I can't really do anything because I needed two turns. I needed to buy a turn. I needed two turns, one to Celestial Roar and then one to win. But uh, he just so happens to get two perfect hands in a row to be able to stop that from happening, and I get Night Speared twice for the KO. So those are going to be the games, short and sweet. Hopefully you guys liked them. Leave me a comment about them. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Check out the links in the description, and I'll have more videos coming your way shortly. Thanks for watching, guys.